So, hi everyone. Today we will discuss about the eight stages of psychosocial development by Eric Erikson. Okay, so who is Eric Erikson? Eric Erikson, he is the father of psychosocial development. So, this is her um, best quote. Children love and want to be loved, and D very much prefer joy of accomplishments to the trump of hateful failure. Do not mistake a child for his symptoms. So that is the quote of Eric Erikson. Okay, Eric Erikson biography. Born June 15, 1902 in Frankfurt, Germany. Died May 12, in 1994. Massachusetts, USA, field the development tell psycho psychology, influenced by Sigmund Freud and Anna Freud, coined the term lifespan development, and key idea it is theories of social psychological development. Eric Erikson in 1902 to 1994. So this picture show us. Uh, about the eight stages of psycho psychosocial development no start from stage one to stage two until stage eight so uh we are um uh, know that um they have a different stages now in every stages of our life okay so this is the uh, psychosocial stages of Eric Erikson. The first one is uh, the stage one, trust versus mistrust. Stage two, the autonomy versus shames and doubt. Stage three, the initiative versus guilt. Stage four, the industry versus inferiority. Stage five, the identity versus role confusion. Stage six, the intimacy versus isolation. Stage seven, Degenerative versus stagnations, stage eight, the integrity versus despair. Okay, so let's talk first. The stage one, stage one is focused in infancy, a trust versus mistrust. No, so from birth to twelve months of age. So the most fundamental stage in life, and this is the infant is utterly dependent on the parents, especially the mother for sustenance and comfort so this is a very sensitive part i mean the stage of all stages of ericsson no the 12 months of age so every child need a love and care of the mother you know especially uh um the mother they will give uh, milk to uh their children okay and Stage one, focus on if the parents are consistent in providing the infant with a secure environment, including the satisfactions of the infants. So there is uh, basic needs, just as food, the love, and the safety. The infant develop a sense of trust. So if the parents, on the other hand, are not inconsistent in providing the infant with what she needs so what will happen the child no eric erickson argues that a sense of mistrust will develop on the part of the infant mistrust will lead to feelings of frustrations withdrawal suspicions and lack of confidence so mistrust will happen if the parents will not inconsistent of their children it is important for the infant to develop 100% of trust. The infant cannot avoid developing some kind of mistrust during this stage. Some experience of mistrust is advantageous on the part of the infant as it allows her to gain some understanding of what constitutes dangerous situations later in life. A successful development of infant's personality during this stage involves striking a balance between the trust and mistrust. It is not advisable for the infant to be exposed to prolonged situations of mistrust. Yes, no, it because they are child and they are developing their mind and they are focused on trust of her parents and the mother. 
so let's talk about the uh, stage two so this is a stage two okay stage two in early childhood autonomy versus shame and doubt age one to three years old start so the child during this stage begins to explore the world and learns that she can control her actions and eventually act in her environment to get result the child begins to show strong and clear preference over things of interest such as food toys and clothing so it is in the stage that the child develops a sense of personal control and start to gain little independence and if parents allow their children to make choice of their own which in turn allows them to develop personal control and gain independence children will develop a sense of autonomy eric erickson believes that children who successfully complete this stage that is develop a sense of autonomy will feel secure and confident so those who do not are left with a sense of adequacy which in turn result in feeling of shame and self doubt that is the focus of uh, stage two next is the stage three preschool and initiative versus guilt start from age to three to six years old so the children are now capable of initiating the activities and begin to assert control over the environment through social interactions and play and for the children who are successfully in this stage feel capable and able to lead others children want to begin and complete their own action for a specific purpose so when just initiative according to eric erickson's do not yield the desired result children may feel guilt so eric erickson argues that for children to become successful in this stage they, ma they, may they must uh, resolve the task of initiative and guilt so a sense of ambitions and responsibility focus on this stage can be fulfilled filled with parents allow their children to explore the world on their own and support their choices so when the children will develop self-confidence and feel a sense of purpose and if the children are not successfully in this stage that is when their initiative are stifled by their parents they develop a sense of guilt so that is the focus of the stage three and now let's talk about the stage four stage four this is the school age industry versus inferiority focus on the age six to twelve years old through social interaction children begins to develop a sense of pride in their abilities and accomplishments particularly in school works sports social activities and family in life so if the children are encouraged and commended by the parents and teachers they develop a sense of competency and believe in their skill if the children do not get support of parents and teachers in the form of encouragement so what will happen in appreciation they will doubt their ability to be successful which might be responsible for the development of inferiority complex in their adolescence and adult years that is for the stage four so when adolescents receive proper encouragements and reinforcement in their personal explorations they will emerge from this stage with a strong sense of identity and are able to remain true to their values and beliefs when faced with problems so those who do not receive proper encouragements this this stage no this during this stage our uh, reinforcement will develop a week of sense of identity and experience role confusions and confusions not only about themselves but also their future so that is the focus of the stage five so better to know that this time they will know how to be and encourage themselves encourage one another 
So stage six, young adult adulthood. So intimacy versus isolation, 20 to 40 years old. So after the person develops a sense of self and adolescence, he is now ready to share his life with others. So young adults want to blade with their friends and peers they will to fight in. So they want to develop an intimate relationship with other people. In fact, they want to make long-term commitments to others. So that is a stage six. So those who are successfully in this stage are able to establish intimate relationship one that is enduring and secure and which may ultimately result in development of virtue known as love. If people fail to establish intimate relationship with others, they may develop a sense of isolation. People must develop a strong sense of self so they can develop, develop intimate relationship with others. So by stage 7, middle adulthood, generative versus stagnations, 40 years old to 60 years old. So when a person makes a significant contribution during this stage, for example, by raising a family of uh, engaging in productive work that contributes positively to society a sense of generative or a sense of productivity and accomplishments in nature. So those who fail to fulfill this task may experience stagnations and feel unproductive and uninvolved in the world. Okay, so it's better to know that this time no from the stage six to stage five that uh, we will encourage our child to be more independent to be more encourage one another to be to be more about uh, difficult things in life you no know, to give the solutions to give them advice so so they will uh, know how to face the problem in the future Okay, so this time, focus on the stage 8, maturity. I think this is the last stage of the Eric Erickson psychosocial development. So, stage 8, maturity. So, integrity versus despair from 60 years old to end of life, late adult whole stage. So, as people get older, their productivity slow down and begin to explore life as retired individuals that they contemplate on their accomplishment and when they are proud of them they feel a sense of integrity so what will happen if they will not i mean accomplishment in their this time of their age so i mean despair no so they have uh, feel uh despair about themselves okay so those who failed, like I said, those who failed to fulfill their task during the stage, according to Eric Erickson, may feel that their life has been wasted and look back on their life with many regrets. So they face the end of their life with feelings of desperation and bitterness. So the result is despair. Okay, so this is the stage of psychosocial development. No school age, adolescence, maturity, and infants, infancy. So from start to baby until we go to uh, 60 years old. So that's it for our discussion today. And by the way, I'm Sharon Gonzaga and see you next time. Saying